Hi there. I lost a good friend today. On YouTube, she was known as Totally Kathy. I knew her as Kathleen. Totally Kathy led a devotional every morning, very early, for two or three years, I think, maybe a little bit longer than that. She didn't do them for quite a few months now. But the group that she gathered around her were one of the most diverse groups I've actually seen in YouTube land. There were people from every spectrum you could think of. There were people who came from extremely traditional backgrounds where they only sang old gospel songs. Uh, there were people who were covered from head to foot with tattoos. There were Muslim teenagers who were confused. There were people who were grieving. There were people who rubbed shoulders with the rich and f famous. And there were people who were in uh, abject poverty. But there's one thing that they all had in common. Kathleen loved them. Did she love perfectly? No, guess what? None of us do. But she did her best even as she battled her own stuff, she would pray every single day for people. And you cannot ever say that love was not committed when it came to Kathleen. There's something I just wanted to speak to you for a moment about. There was a man who spoke once, and I remember what he said. He basically said this. When you stand before you, you God, he's not going to ask you, did you file your taxes every year? Did you help that old lady across the street? Did you give a lot of stuff to the poor? Did you run into a burning building to save some kittens? No, he's going to ask this one question. Did you love well? That's the first question he's going to ask you. Did you love well? Because out of that, everything else will fall into place. And I am positive of this, that as Kathleen stands in front of God, she can honestly say that she loved well. Did she love perfectly? No, none of us do, but she tried. So in honor of Kathleen, I would like you to consider this. This is something that came to my, my mind. Reach out to those who you are in disagreement with, especially in today's climate where friendships have been ended because of political stuff, uh, whether or not they've had something put in their arm, whether or not they voted for this person or not whether or not they love truckers or they hate truckers, whatever it might be. But if those little things, and they're little things in the grand scheme of things, guys, if you have allowed those little things to create a chasm between you and someone you were once close to, consider being the bridge builder even though it might mean that you need to swallow your pride, even if it might mean you might have to ask forgiveness and eat humble pie, whatever it is. Guys, love well. Life is way too short to be carrying anything for too long. I'm not talking about reaching out to people who have harmed you physically or who have threatened you, or have em emotionally beat you to a pulp again and again and again. But to those who you've just had a trivial grudge with, reach out to them and bring reconciliation. We need each other right now more than ever, guys. I'm just going to leave you with that. Kathleen, you're going to be missed. And. In honor of Totally Kathy, I leave you with these words. I love you to pieces.